Hi there, I just wanted to take you on a quick tour here of, uh, of a method I found for making some explosion sounds. Um, if you don't have access to, you know, gunpowder or, you know, uh, explosives, and you still want to make a sound uh, that you can use, um, what I did, and this is just through experimentation, I went to freesound.org, and uh, I ran across these piano stab sounds. Um, these are all free uh, sounds that you can download and use for whatever, you know, read their their user licenses and stuff, but you can use them for your projects. And lots of people upload cool stuff. And so I couldn't explode things, you know, uh, <laughs> for, for one of the projects I was working on. And so I went here to look, and here's something that I found. See, so what this guy's doing is recording, uh, you know, stabs and, you know, recording himself smacking and scratching the piano wires inside a piano. Uh, and just make all sorts of weird sounds like those. And so what I did was I found some that I thought would be good ingredients for my own explosion. So if you want to find this guy, Patchin, and look for this soundboard, I mean he's got a bunch of other cool stuff and a lot of people have put some really neat stuff here so uh, that's a really awesome site. Um, then you start off there and so this is my project. I'm using Audacity and um, just to take you through these di individual parts um, in every sound you know they have different elements and for an explosion sound one of the most important sounds is the is the attack you know the, the immediate um, percussive sound at the beginning of the of the explosion so here's what I used for that it's not very loud but um, I used that and I did some filtering and EQ and this is also um, a volume envelope so I, I turned down the volume um, so that's the initial attack um, and you can even see the, the number of, of the sound if you download these. You could theoretically make the same sound. Um, so the next ingredient that I have here is um, some, some more harmonic decay. Since this is recorded with a piano, then there are a lot of uh, individual strings inside the piano that are, that are vibrating once they're being hit. And so it makes kind of a, a more impressionistic sound uh, that I'll play for you here. So that's for more of the decay. And that's also pretty quiet. Let me play that again. And you can hopefully hear that uh, that the pitch is going is is descending in this sound file and that's because I have this timeline here it's a time track and I added it through through here and just make a time track if you want and what it does and you can set set the parameters um, you can set its range here uh, and right now it's only set to to be ninety percent but um, what what I did was you, this is this is um, affecting the the rate of playback. So if I get rid of this and play that same sound file, the pitch doesn't descend. So it's a, that's a really cool tool for you to play around with, and you could really um, have a lot of fun uh, messing with your sounds if you want pitches to change and playback rates to change. It's a way of uh, you know, customizing a sound to your own needs. This is this this last one. I think I would call the um, the impact. So when you know when an explosion goes off, first there's you know the percussion, and then there's also decay. But this would be the the second ingredient. You can see where it is. This is a uh, you know the the blowback, and this is maybe the 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 shock wave that you would hear. So let's let's listen to that. And it has some more, uh, you know, some more non-harmonic sounds. So together, it sounds like this.
So that's so yeah, that was my method basically taking apart the sound that you're going for and putting to, putting it together, you know, bit by bit. Um, and so each one of these sounds, you know, serves a good purpose for one of those bits, but not the whole thing. So by using this um, the source material that you wouldn't really expect to use, you can actually create a decent sounding explosion. And you could mute this if you didn't want that harmonic content. But for my, for my ears, I liked it. I thought it sounded kind of, uh, it gave it a little bit of emotional impact. So that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that is a useful bit of info. Have a good day.